Matthew chapter 3. Hello world. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I am Don, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God. On today's show we are going to be discussing Matthew chapter 3 about John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness and how that applies to each and every one of us as Christians and what our duty is as Christians. In the days of John the Baptist, we learned that John would preach in the wilderness, and since most of the known world today is populated or civilized in most cases, I refer to the World Wide Web as the wilderness. And it is my duty, and the duty of all Christians, to pick up the cross and to go about teaching and sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ, as referenced in my first video, The Great Commission. Another reason for my calling is God decided to have me start this series, Don the Baptist, is because what I've learned from so many of my Christian friends that they attend church regularly and have no comprehension of what the Bible actually says and what the preachers are teaching them. What I've learned is most preachers will quote one verse and give a lecture on how it applies and most people leave the church with mixed messages. You have to understand the entire passage, not just one verse. Well, I tell you, these preachers have their rewards, but unfortunately, they, when they are sharing their experiences, they are forgetting the Word of God and how it is to properly be taught and applied. This is why when I share the Gospel, I'm not teaching you anything, but only sharing through the words of the prophet and how it applies. So let's get into Matthew chapter 3, King James Version of the Holy Bible, the only authorized Bible in this preacher's opinion. Now, as I read, begin to read the uh, chapter 3, I'm going to add my own little inserts after the passages so you can follow along. So, Matthew chapter 1. In those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness through Judea. Preaching in the wilderness today, this is the wilderness is known as the World Wide Web. This is a way for all of us to communicate with people around the globe that we can preach and teach the gospel of Jesus Christ, the good news. Matthew chapter 2, and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It is my belief, and many others, we are truly living in the end of times as we know it, and it is the duty of all Christians to preach the gospel to everybody, the atheist, to the, to the, to the Christian, that has a misunderstanding to the sinners like myself, to the Muslims, to the Jew, to the Buddhists, to the Hindus. It is our duty as Christians to reach out to these people and bring them to the one and only true living God, Jesus the Christ. Matthew chapter 3. For this is he that was spoken of the prophets by Isaiah, saying, The voice of the one crying in the wilderness. Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Again, we are living in times before the return of the great King Jesus the Christ, and we must, as Christians, prepare the way for others to accept Jesus Christ from the transition of the current powers of this world. And furthermore, again, the World Wide Web is also today known as the wilderness, in my opinion. So it is a good tool for each and every one of us to have to go out there and spread the gospel. Matthew chapter 4 And the same John had his raiment of camel hair and a leather girdle about his loins, and his meat was locust and wild honey. Then went out to him Jerusalem and all Judea and all the region round about Jordan, and were baptized of him in Jordan, confessing their sins. In order to be saved, ladies and gentlemen, we must repent of our sins and we must be baptized and we must be born again. That is what baptism is, being born again into the Lord of Lord, King of Kings, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand, my friends. Matthew chapter 7, But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come to his baptism, he said unto them, O generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Friends, the wrath of God is upon us, and we must warn this generation of vipers of the wrath to come, so that they may be saved. Matthew chapter 8. Bring forth therefore fruits, meat for repentance. Number 9. And think not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. 
and not in number ten. And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Therefore every tree which bringeth forth not good fruit is owned down and cast into the fire. Ladies and gentlemen, you do not want to be cast into the fire. Matthew chapter 11. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Ladies and gentlemen, when the Holy Spirit ascends upon you, your body is engulfed with the flame of fire, and I cannot even explain to you the feeling of what it's like when the Holy Ghost descends upon you and that fire rips through your veins. I cannot tell you, only you can learn this for yourself. Matthew chapter 12, whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the garner, but he will burn up the shaft with the unquenchable fire. Then cometh Jesus from Galilee of Jordan unto John to be baptized of him. But John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee, and comest thou to me. And Jesus answering said unto him, Suffer it be so now, for thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he suffered him. And Jesus, when he was baptized, went straightway out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove, and lightning upon him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. I find it absolutely amazing how it begins and also ends. I hope you understand what that means, if not, think about it. God bless the written words of the prophets and the Lord of Lord, King, Kings, Jesus the Christ. My friends, stay tuned and subscribe to the channel and follow us on Facebook at the Christ Crusaders. And until the next time, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Don the Baptist.